Audio seems to be good. All right. Let's begin the game. Never the end is never the end is never the end is loading. This is the story of a man named Stanley. Stanley, Stanley worked for a company in a big building where he was employee number 427. Employee number 427's job was simple. He sat at his desk. This looks like Gary's mod. Is this made using Source and all? Orders came to him through a monitor on his desk, telling him what buttons to push, how long to push them, and in what order. This is what employee 427 did every day of every month of every year. Damn. Although others might have considered it soul winning, Stanley relished every moment that the orders came in, as though he had been made exactly for this job. And Stanley was happy. It's got to be cool to have a number and then one in your day, workplace. Very peculiar happened. Something it's like Squid Game's bullshit. Stanley, something he would never quite forget. He had been at his desk for nearly an hour when he realized that not one single order had arrived on the monitor for him to follow. No one had showed up to give him instructions, call a meeting, or even say hi. Never in all his years at the company had this happened. This complete isolation. Something was very clearly wrong. Shocked, frozen solid, Stanley found himself unable to move for the longest time. But as he came to his wits and regained his senses, he got up from his desk and stepped out of his office. Alright, sensitivity seems good. Uh, I wonder why it asked for the time if it's not going to use my time in the game. Cause that's going on 10 o'clock. Is it a.m. or p.m.? It's probably a.m. There's no window, so... Let me get more comfortable on my keyboard. There we go. Can we sharpen the pencil? No? Alright. Okie dokie. No? No? All of his co-workers were gone. What could it mean? Stanley decided to go to the meeting room. Perhaps he had simply missed a memo. The meeting room. Or 11.20. came to a set of two open doors, he mm -hmm. entered the door on his left. What if I go in this one? Okie dokie. Her. Eleven twenty. Yet there was not a single person here Damn. either. Feeling a wave of disbelief, Stanley decided to go up to his boss's office, hoping he might find an answer there. Boss inspection, ideas and developments, mergers, weekly review, pranking floors meeting. Classified. Everyone is unique. You most of all. There's probably like lore or something I'm supposed to know on this shit and I'm not even... I don't care. <laughs> to do. Synergize. Core value. Expenditures. Shift global market. Parade. Monetize free to play. Oh, great. Broom closet. Huh? Ooh. Stanley stepped into the broom closet, but there was nothing here, so he turned around and got back on track. Now there's plenty here. What? There's tape? There's wire? There was nothing here. No choice to make, no path to follow. Just an empty broom closet. No reason to still be here. Well, actually, there's more duct tape here. There's a crescent wrench, some adjustable pliers. There's a pipe wrench. There's two. He was still just sitting in the broom closet. He wasn't even doing anything. First of all, something to interact with, he'd be justified in some way. First of all, I'm standing doing sweet FA. 
This guy's got an attitude, doesn't he? Coming to a staircase, Stanley walked upstairs to his boss's office. All right, so this this basically, ooh, it's red down there. I don't want to go down there. So, do you get punished for choosing opposite of what the guy says? You know what? I'm gonna do what he says, but I'm doing it my way. I'm gonna walk up backwards. Ha <laughs> ha! Oh shit! I can't even do that. I fucked that up. Look at that. See that? Look. Stanley walked up backwards because he's an idiot. Executive bathroom? Oh. I've got the feeling money's for stealing, but not yours, of course. Say that's a lovely purse. Porse? Lovely. But not yours, of course. That's a lovely Porse. Alright. Shut this. Hmm. Stepping into his manager's office, Stanley was once again stunned to discover not an indication of any human life. Shocked, unraveled, Stanley wondered in disbelief who orchestrated this. What dark secret was being held from him? What he could not have known was that the keypad behind the boss's desk guarded the terrible truth that his boss had been keeping from him. And so the boss had assigned it an extra secret pin number. Oh, this. 2845. 2845. Of course, Stanley couldn't possibly have known this. Well, you just told me. You know what? Stanley just sat around twiddling his thumbs. <laughs> Trying to input anything on the device was useless, since he could never possibly know that the combination was 2845. Well, let's see. Let me look around. Look, there's two plates. So maybe the first one is two. And there's... Two, eight, four, five. There's... What else am I looking for? There is, there is four books, see? One, two, three, four books. Don't look at the others, just concentrate on the four. But it turns out that the panel's emergency four. override kicked in, and the door just opened all by itself. What? And got the hell along with the story. Well, what did you Don't do? rush me, bruh. Um... I can't see now. Oh, jeez. I don't have a fresh right. I always like when devs put these things in. You know how heavy these things are? And it has a trailer hitch. How are you supposed to get this in here? This isn't an inside generator. And this, you can plug in regular wall outlet. I don't understand. Uh. Okay. Loading, 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 loading. Descending deeper into the building, Stanley realized he felt a bit peculiar. It was a stirring I can't of say that word. Peculiar. Peculiar. Did I say it? Peculiar. Why did he feel oh, shit, I can say it. When for years, it had never occurred to him. This question would not go unanswered for long. Whoa! Zip zap. Stanley walked straight ahead through the large door that read Mind Control Facility. Yeah? You sure he did that?
Eh, yeah, sure. Ah, great. What have I got myself into this time? <laughs> Boop. The lights rose on an enormous room packed with television screens. Oh, we gonna watch something good? Did this place hold, Stanley thought to himself. Did he have the strength to find out? Wait, what's going on? Oh. This looks like the beginning room on, uh... A hot dogs, horseshoes, hand grenades. We're gonna shoot some shit. Now the monitors jumped to life. Their true nature revealed. Each bore the number of an employee in the building. Stanley's co-workers. The lives of so many individuals reduced to images on a screen. And Stanley, one of them, eternally monitored in this place where freedom meant nothing. So where am I at? I'm 427? So I'm... That's me right there, right? Center of the screen? No, it's 423. I'm right here. Right? I don't know. I don't know. I forget my number. I don't even have I don't even have the feet. What is this? This mind control facility. It was too horrible to believe. It couldn't be true. Had Stanley really been under someone's control all this time? Was this the only reason he was happy with his boring job? That his emotions had been manipulated to accept it blindly? No. He refused to believe it. He couldn't accept it. His own life in someone else's control. Why did that say pirate? It was unthinkable. There's a pirate? Wasn't it? Was it even possible? Had he truly spent his entire life utterly blind to the world? But here was the proof. The heart of the operation. Controls labeled with emotions. Happy or sad or content. Walking, eating, working. All of it monitored and commanded from this very place. And as the cold reality of his past began to sink in, Stanley decided that this machinery would never again exert its terrible power over another human life. For he would dismantle the controls once and for all. So this is like a Truman show. How do I, how do I turn this off? I just press some buttons. Boop. Um, can we write down in the story that Stanley has a flashlight? Cause, cause holy shit, man. It's Dirk. What are these? Oh, two. Two. One. Oh, that wasn't right. Oh, three. So it's two something. Is it two? Two. Is this even a puzzle? Like. Mind controls idle. Awaiting input. Well, you can await a little bit longer because I'm trying to figure something out here. So we got two. No. So it's two, and then two, three? No? All right, so obviously the first digit of whatever this is is two. Two, let's try four or five. I don't know, man. I don't know. Is there a four? Where's the four? All right. So now it's either three or a one. Ah, fuck a French fry. So it's two, five, one, three. 
But there's no four. No. Stop! Two... Five... Two, five... No! I give up. I just go through door! I just go through door. That's what I do. When people ask me what I do, I just go through door. And when at last he found the source of the room's power, he knew it was his duty, his obligation, to put an end to this horrible place and to everything it stood for. Mind controls idle waiting input. I have a feeling if I choose off, I'm going to die. But how can I choose off? Choosing something, pressing, turning something off means it's on. So how can I ch turn something on if it's not already off? Mind control system. Right, row. Blackness and a rising chill of uncertainty. Was it over? What? It not over? Yes. He had won. I won. He had defeated the machine, unshackled himself from someone else's command. Freedom was mere moments away. And yet, even as the immense door slowly opened. Stanley reflected on how many puzzles still lay unsolved. Where had his co-workers gone? How had he been freed from the machine's grasp? What other mysteries did this strange building hold? But as sunlight... What is this, an airplane hangar? He realized none of this mattered to him. For it was not knowledge or even power that he had been seeking, but happiness. Perhaps his goal had not been to understand, but to let go. No longer would anyone tell him where to go, what to do, or how to feel. Whatever life he lives, it will be his. Wow. And that was all he needed to know. It was perhaps the only thing worth knowing. Stanley stepped through the open door. Ah. Stanley felt the cool breeze upon his skin. The feeling of liberation, the immense possibility of the new path before him. This was exactly the way, right now, that things were meant to happen. So is this just like one ending? Did I beat it? Happy. I beat the game? It's only been 23 minutes, so that's just one ending.